He's heating up! Hey guys, it's Vash. Welcome to another discussion video. This time, this video is going to be about my experience with The Evil Within 2 at E3. Now, at E3, they did not have a playable demo of Evil Within 2, but they did have a showcase there. Um, they had like a little walkthrough that uh, you literally walk into like a room and they would have gameplay on the walls and cool stuff around and you know just like an experience or whatever so i'm gonna tell you guys how the experience was i'll i'll keep you keep you in tune on what's going on so when you first walk inside um there's a lot of fog and a lot of smoke and you can see uh sebastian's daughter's door um it says lily it's like a little girl's door and then on the wall there is a TV that's playing the gameplay of Sebastian coming home the night that his house burned down when they lost Lily. Uh, you know, you read about that in the Evil Within 2's, um, not the Evil Within 2, my bad, the Evil Within 1's, like, the, the logs. You read about that. That was probably the worst part of that whole walkthrough because the smoke was so thick that, like, I was just choking. Like, they were in as hot as hell. They really simulated hardcore. Uh, that you're walking through a house fire and like I think for almost an hour or two hours after that I would every time I took a deep breath I could still like feel the smoke in my lungs it was bad, but you walk past that you watch a little bit of gameplay of that I tried to watch as long as I could and so it looped once and then I got the hell out of there because it was just too hot and I couldn't breathe so as you keep walking you then walk into a hallway that's full of mirrors and they show um, the mirrors from the evil within one uh it shows sebastian walk up to a mirror and touch it and you know how it zooms in on the mirror and he appears where he's supposed to go they didn't show that part they just showed him touch the mirror it zooms in and then it loops back the gameplay so now we have official confirmation that the mirrors will be making a return i don't know if tatiana will be but she better because i missed that girl but it, that's probably going to be the save area like last time where you upgrade and save uh and when you take a couple of feet couple of feet when you take a couple of steps down you'll then see like a picture of uh what kind of looked like the the four-legged well she wasn't four-legged i can't remember what her name was the the one that had the long hair and she walked on her hands and feet and she would kill you in one hit like you know what i'm talking about and you have the burner and stuff it's it's kind of looks like her a little bit and then you walk past that then past that they had what did they have they had some gameplay of the combat of uh, Sebastian fighting against two like zombies in a in a room and they're coming through a white door and it looked extremely similar to the first game I didn't really notice any changes to the combat at all except for that the gun kind of looked like it did more than tickle him because in, in I don't know about you guys but in Evil Within 1 like the, the pistol just just like had this weird ass like bah, bah, like I don't know just the way the the gun sounded just made it sound like a like a practical joke gun but it's pretty much the same. It's about exactly the same. It shows like the two monsters come in and he's shooting at him and he headshots the one behind the guy in front, which then grabs him and it goes into like a little struggle and he pushes him back and then he shoots him. Um, when you walk past that, it then brings you to another room that uh, had gameplay, it had some of the stealth gameplay. It had Sebastian sneaking across this black couch with an enemy on the other side of the couch, but the enemy looked normal and the enemy had kind of like swirls over his head like he was possessed or he was dizzy and so it showed him like just sneaking left and right and try and just walking out of the room so i guess showing that there's more stealth hopefully in the game there's more stealth because like the stealth was okay it was a little janky from time to time but um the beginning of the game stealth was important because you didn't really have a lot of ammo or guns but then you would get to a certain point in the game where you didn't need the sneak, you could just shoot people and gun them down, like, you just blow stuff away. Um, so I, cause, you know, like, yeah, like I was saying, in the beginning of Evil Within 1, stealth was, they were, they really hammered it in you, like, stealth, 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 be sneaky, like, try to get the drop on people and stuff like that, but, like, later on, the game becomes kind of like Resident Evil 4, where you just, you just be just gunning through dudes. Uh, after that part, it just kind of brought you to the end where they you got to take a picture if you wanted to, and then you can go out and they'll print the picture for you. So that was pretty much the Evil Within experience. When you walked out, they gave you like a little battery charger that said Evil Within 2 on it. And uh, yeah, that was the Evil Within 2. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys what's going on and then like what happened in it, and then we can give our opinions and stuff. We can have a little discussion because we're only like four minutes into this or five minutes. So The Evil Within was a game that we did a playthrough on, a blind playthrough on, um, a couple years ago when it came out, and I really enjoyed the game. The story was all over the place and it was confusing, but I've actually beaten the game two or three times, and I actually like it. 
even though it's uh, a little confusing and towards the end it got a little frustrating with everyone dying but apparently this new game is supposed to you know go deeper into Sebastian's uh, family problems because uh, you know his daughter died and like there's rumors that his daughter's still alive and then his wife disappeared so this one's supposed to be more of a uh, personal matter with Sebastian and when I first saw that they were announcing this I already heard rumors that Evil Within 2 was coming I didn't know if it was coming because like I don't I don't think it did the first one I think the first one did okay I don't know if it did really well it probably did I don't know probably well of course it did if they're making a second one it had to have done well because it'd be stupid if it you know it'd be it'd be dumb to make another game of a game that didn't sell um, but I don't know I just know that it is going to be it's gonna be a lot of fun I just hope that there's just a lot of the issues that I had with the first game are fixed like I hope there's a bear a bear a better narrative I hope that the story doesn't feel like it was just a bunch of levels that like the whole first game just felt like people in a room are like man look okay, we got this spooky castle and we got this this dude with this chainsaw and then we got this and that and we got this level we got this merry-go-round we got this big pool of blood but let's just stick them all together and then stick like a cutscene every once in a while so that people feel like they're going the right way you know what I mean? You get what I mean, right? It's like the game, the game felt like that you could take any level from any section and mix them around and you wouldn't be able to tell what's supposed to go where. And I hope that the, the second game has, does that a little bit better because like, like I said, like you can look at parts of the game if you've never played it before. Well, not even that, that'd be stupid to say that. Even if you have played it before, I, you, you can't even tell like how far someone's in the game because the, it's, I don't know. It was, I don't know. That was like my biggest issue with the game and the fact that like towards the end of the game everything kind of kills you in one hit but you get used to that um i'm just curious to see how it all works out i want to know what's going on i wonder like we we're going back into the uh i can't even remember what it's called but like the the stem thing we're going back into that so that sebastian go look for his his, his peeps and all that but yeah i wonder what do you guys think about evil within 2 i was pretty I was pretty hyped that they announced that, and I know we're definitely going to be playing this later this year. We're going to jump into that and experience it together firsthand and have a lot of fun with it. But I'd love to hear what you guys got to say about it. I'd love to hear your opinions on Evil Within 2. Are you hyped? Are you going to buy it when it comes out? Are you going to play it? Are you going to enjoy it? Because I know I will. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.